Ready, Brindley? Are you ready? Can you dab for me on camera? Oh, that's how you know she's three. All right, guys, so I talked to Lojo Fishing earlier. I have Nate with me and Jake Juan back there. Now, I talked to Lojo Fishing earlier today. So what he's been doing is, you know, taking people to go pick his fishing lures, like, you know, either his mom or employees at the store. And I called him up and I was like, hey, is it okay if I bring my little sister out to film a video? And uh, she picked some fishing lures for me to go fishing with Nate and Jake Juan tomorrow. And uh, he said, yeah, go for it. So that's what we're doing today, guys. Oh. <laughs> No, you gotta pick a fishing lure before I can touch you. <laughs> no, no, you gotta get a lure. That's what you gotta do. What do you think we should get? What do you like? You like those? I thought you said you wanted to. Oh, yeah. oh no. Grizzly. You want the? You want this stuff? You want? You want this? All right, you get to pick one more thing. Okay, come over here. Over here. All right, you got these two right now. Pick one more thing. What do you want to get? You want to get? Why do you want those ones? Because I like them. You like them? Because they have pink on them. Okay. All right. Are these the three you want? Mm -hmm. All these? That's it. No changes. Just these. These are what you want to get. Okay. Oh, you turn. He's riding to the Amazon rainforest. Oh, Here he comes. Buddy, what you got? Wanna show him? Look what you got. You like it? Is that what you want to get? All right, Brindley, bump it. Let's go. Go get some candy. Go get some candy. You're skipping? I can't skip. Want some M&Ms? M &M, grab some M&Ms. Get them. All right, put them on up here. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. You ready? You want to carry the bag? All right. Are you excited? Oh yeah, you're excited. This bump. You did good. I'll see you later, little girl. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So it's actually the morning. I don't feel like I made a proper intro yesterday. Now it's me, Jake Juan, and Nate right now. We're getting on a 10 foot John boat. And we're, we're gonna be on this big pond right behind me. This is a farm pond. There's some pretty big bass in here. So here's here's the rules for me. Y'all got to see my little sister Brinley. She's three years old. So since she's three, I let her pick three lures from Walmart. And she picked two finesse worms and then one jig head. Now I can't fish with any other bait until I catch a fish on each one of those baits. So I have to catch a fish on the pink finesse worms, white finesse worms, and jig heads. So guys, I think it's gonna be kind of an epic challenge. We're gonna get out here. I think we're gonna catch a lot of fish, especially after I... I think we're gonna catch a lot of fish, especially after I complete this challenge, guys. So uh, let's roll the GoPro footage. All right guys, I'm gonna start with the Zoom Trick Worms in white. This is what my little sister picked out. We got two packs of those, one in white, one in pink. And I'm just gonna throw it on a shaky head right here with braid. I'm only throwing on braid because it, like, I can't even tell you. Oh, they're, they're busting over there, cast your crankbait. I can't even tell you how much, you know, weeds and moss and stuff is in here. It's crazy, so we're gonna rig this on up and see if we can hook up. All right, I just, oh, that's Ooh, a good fish. That's a good fish. I just said, Nate, cast over there. They're schooling, and uh, he cast his crankbait over there, and what do you know? That's a good fish. That okay. That's a good fish. Let's see. Now, if we catch any big fish, we're going to put it in my pond. Bro, he chucked the crankbait. Bro. That's where fish Oh, bro, we need, well, I need pliers. We don't. Got blown oh, up. my gosh. He got blown up. There you go. He got blown up on He exploded on That's a pretty fish. That's a good fish. He's skinny. He's got a bucket now. It's a good one right there. Two. Is that skinny? Three. Dude, I said no. No. Nah. 
There's a fish. All right, guys. <laughs> that did not just happen. All right, guys. Got a pretty good fish. He is fighting really hard. Did you just lose that one too? That was like a three pounder. He was fighting so hard. <laughs> <laughs> you were recording that the whole time. Because I don't need that. I'm not gonna use your worms right there. Oh, got one. You got one? Yep. Yeah, he's and he, one. yeah, that's a good one. He's stuck in the grass. Oh, look at that, guys. Come here. Okay, look at that. We got it, we did it. White worm strikes after two hours. We finally caught a bass. It's been three. three hours, we finally caught a bass. Yeah, with you finally caught one. I, I, catch I caught a huge one, I don't know what you're talking about. Finally caught a bass on the white worm. Look at that, that's probably about, I don't know, you wanna say like pound and a half, three quarter, two pounds maybe? Yeah. Thinks two? Yeah. yeah. Probably about a two pounder. Not too bad, but we're done with the white worm. I've been throwing that worm for three hours now. Thank God I get to get rid of it. This fish is a, uh, looks pretty healthy. Oh, he swam right away. All right guys, so we finished with the white worms. Now we're gonna use the Zoom Super Salt Plus Trick Worms and Bubble Gum, basically pink. These are the second lure. This is the, yeah, the second lure Brinley chose. So we're gonna get this on the same shaky head that we were throwing the white one on. It's just pink. I am stuck on something, but I think I have a fish. Oh my goodness. Is there a fish in there? There, I th there is a fish in there, no way. Look at that, guys. You know, I'm just really surprised you caught a fish. <laughs> my God. This fish swam straight down into all of this grass. At least you caught him on the pink worm, right? Got him on the pink worm. So that is the second lure off the list right there. We've got the white worm, the pink worm, and... I threw my rod back in the water. I got a video. <laughs> Did you get that video? <laughs> I threw my rod back in the water. I hear Jacob go, hey, we're on top of a tree. <laughs> I lost my. I was trying to catch my balance, fell too. and I hit the the box right here and I fell back over it. And I literally threw the rod over my head and back into the boat. I was gonna say we have the rig twirl tails left. I really don't care what we catch on this as long as as long as there's some form of fish. I almost got him through it. Oh, he's still on. I see. Him. It's a good fish. Yeah, this, this tree. They got a nice one. All right, guys, so we actually just got off the water and you're probably asking yourself why I didn't try and catch a fish on these right here. And the reason is, is because I told my sister, Brinley, who helped tuck out the lures, is that we were gonna use them all and unfortunately there wouldn't be any left and we'd have to go back to the store and get her some. But instead, I'm just gonna surprise her with stuff like this. A little things to her since she's three, like it makes her world. And uh, she's got her own little tackle box so we can put these in here for her. But yeah, we're, we're not gonna fish with these, but we are gonna go grab some food. Wing stop. Wing, wing stop. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go wing stop and then we're gonna go back to my house, check out my pond, feed my big bass. If you guys have yet to see Ambalam, that's my 11 pound bass. All right guys, we are back home and we are at the pond. Now this is Ambalam's filet for the day. I don't know where she is. She should come around here because she normally comes to me once I walk up. Oh, yep, there she is, she's coming. Here she comes. There you go, big girl. Yeah, there you go. So we're only gonna give her one piece right now, just because I only want her to eat one filet a day, which is actually a lot for a fish, one full filet of tilapia a day. She likes it, she likes to eat like that, but I like to spread it out. So like one piece in the morning, 
you know, another piece in the afternoon and two pieces at night and all of them together make up that full filet. So I haven't been here most of the day, so I just gave her one piece. I'll give her another one here just a little bit. And then, like I said, I'll give her two tonight. She's doing pretty good though. She's sitting right there. She's at the top of the water column, which is good. I mean, you can see a difference in person after feeding her how fat her stomach gets, which I can't really tell is a good thing or a bad thing, but uh, she knows her eating limits, which is good. Some fish just eat, 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 and then sometimes die. She knows when to stop eating. She gets too full, and you know, she'll either throw up something or she'll just stop eating, which is good because I never want to, you know, really overfeed my fish. I don't know what she's doing right now. She's looking at something over there. She's just, she's just hanging out. And we're getting a few new fish that are gonna join the family here very shortly. I'm not gonna tell you guys them. I do wanna keep it a surprise. If they are exotics and I, yeah, that's about, that's all I'm gonna say. I think I already told you guys this. We are gonna get another bass for the pond for sure. It's gonna have to be pushing five pounds because anything smaller than five pounds, the Amblam will just bully because she's so much bigger than it. Um, yeah, she's double, you know, double the size of a five pounder. So if she's up, you know, if she's in a pond with another fish, you know, so small she's just gonna bully it and you know not let it eat and things like that so the next bass we get we do need it to be pushing you know five plus which i don't think is too much of a problem other than that guys hopefully y'all enjoyed this style of video i don't do stuff like this too often and uh, i kind of like the trend i think it's cool i think it's different and i think it's kind of unique sorry i can't help but notice big girl what are you doing what are you doing over here are you just chilling i don't know what you're doing Back to what I was saying, yeah, I, th I mean, I just wanted to hop on the trend. Big shout out to Lojo Fishing. I gave him a call before I did anything like this because um, he was kind of like the maker or the person who started, you know, this trend on YouTube. If you want me to do another video similar to this one, leave a comment in the comment section below. Or if you have any other video suggestions, also leave a comment in the comment section. Other than that, guys, merchandise will be available soon. So many of you guys are asking for it. But uh, I'm going to stop talking. If you've yet to follow me on Instagram, follow me right here. And if you've yet to join the family and subscribe, smash the subscribe button. And we'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fanatic. Peace.